you run from trouble, but you cannot run from a problem. And so if something in your past was in essence a problem and you have never effectively dealt with that problem, then that thing in your past then becomes your present. That thing in your past then becomes your present. So if you What's happening, y'all? This is Mike D with Black Fathers Now. Well, we're bringing the village to the brothers. Every couple of weeks, you can look forward to a quick inspirational message or a thought-provoking guest with knowledge and wisdom all geared towards helping you be the best father that you can be. We're bringing the village to you. Now is your turn to do something with what you learn. All right, y'all. Let's go. What's going on, fellas? This is Mike D with Black Fathers Now. And I hope y'all are having a great day. I hope life is uh hope life is life is, is is well for you, right? I hope you're doing everything that you can to be the best version of yourself. And um and I hope you are encouraging another brother out there to do the same. That's our job. That's our job. Um yo, as always, visit blackfathersnow.com. I am MikeDorsey.com as well. I'd love to come out and speak to your group, to your church, to your at your conference, at your business. You know, I speak on two areas. One is a concept called Double Down on You, in which I encourage the audience, the individuals, the groups to embrace who they authentically are. Right. Figure out who you are and then have the confidence and courage to double down on that. So double down on you and then fatherhood, fatherhood, men issues. Uh, connectivity throughout uh, the the whole notion or the whole environment of being a man. So those are two areas that I really hyper focus on in regards to speaking. A lot of schools, um, groups, churches, organizations, you know, definitely find value in that. So if you're interested, visit immikedorsey.com. Yo, today, today we're really going to dive into it's just a, it's a conversation I had recently, and it was actually earlier today with a group of guys. And it was at the gym and it was ironically in the sauna, right? Ironically in the sauna, we had a conversation. But one of the things that one of the guys brought up was this concept that the past always comes up to haunt him. The past always comes up to haunt him. And so after he mentioned that and kind of gave a little bit more background in regards to the story, one of the things that I let him know from a thought perspective that I've always realized is, you know, is it really the past? If it continues to haunt you, is it really the past if it continues to haunt you? So what ends up happening is, you know, we tell we tell ourselves that something is the past, right? Something from the past keeps coming up and is bothering us. But past means that it's already happened. That means it's behind us. But if it continuously bothers us, it bothers us. If it continuous, continuously impacts our thinking, if it continuously, you know, worries us or keeps us up at night, it's really not something of the past. This is really something of the present. Think about that. It's not really the past if it continues to bother you at this particular point. Now, I want, I want you to also, hey, give me a little bit of grace here. My um, my voice is coming back. Allergies have kind of jumped on my back a little bit and caused my voice to be a little bit off kilter but I'm coming back to normal but this thing came so I had to drop it today is it really the past if it still continues to haunt you and so after the guy mentioned his story his circumstance and scenario you know one of the things that I mentioned to him was you know when it comes to trouble in life you know we're we should run from trouble like our we should not stand and deal with trouble but as it pertains to problems We have to effectively deal with our problems because if we don't take time to deal with our problems, our problems will continuously resurface. They're like a virus, right? They're going to keep showing their ugly head no matter what. Every corner you go around, that problem's going to be here or it's going to be there or it's going to show up in some other circumstance. And you cannot run from a problem. You run from trouble, but you cannot run from a problem. And so if something in your past was in essence a problem, and you have never effectively dealt with that problem, then that thing in your past then becomes your present. 
that thing in your past then becomes your present. So it's really not past tense, it's present tense. And, and one of the things I laid to the guy, you laid out to the guy today was, you know, sometimes we keep saying something is in our past because by giving the power to that thing, by putting that in the past, then we don't have to deal with it in the present. By saying something is in the past, we can treat it like it's already happened. It is nothing we can do, right? But the reality is it's something in the present. We can't deal with the past. The past is over. We can only deal with the present. So when you have an issue that happened 10 years ago, but yet it still bothers you to this day because you've not effectively dealt with it, that's not a past problem. That's actually a present problem. And so when you give that issue the power of saying, you know what? This is not something from 10 years ago. This is something I'm dealing with now. Then that also makes you accountable to dealing with that thing now. If I keep saying it's in the past, I don't have to deal with it because that's already gone. But the reality is, if it's still bothering you, it's really not in the past. Process that for a second. If it's still bothering you, it's really not in the past. It is in the present. You have to accept that. If you don't accept that something is currently in your present, you can't effectively deal with it. You can't deal with things in the past because they've already happened. You can't deal with things in the future because they haven't happened yet. You can deal with now. So that thing in the past that you keep saying is in the past, but it keeps rearing its ugly head. Stop calling it something that's from the past and give it its proper title and say, you know what? This is something that I am presently dealing with. This is something that's bothering me right now because you can do something about right now. You can't do anything about the past. You can't do anything about the future. You can do something about right now. So give that thing... Whatever that thing is, that issue, uh, that person, that circumstance, that bad decision, whatever it was of the past that still is residing in your psyche, residing in your head, residing in your heart, residing in your life, give that thing the power of saying, you know what, this is not the past, this is the present. Because then psychologically, you're going to start looking at it like, okay, this is something that I need to attack right now. I have to address it right now. And if I don't address it right now, it's going to continue to rear its ugly head. And by calling it the past, by calling it the past, I'm actually giving it a pass. By calling it the past, I'm giving it a pass because I don't then have to hold myself accountable and effectively deal with it. But then when I start to look at various circumstances and situations, and something else gets piled on top of that. I start thinking to myself that, oh, it's all these issues that are happening and all this bad stuff is happening and all this is because of this and that is because of that. Those things are all symptoms. They're all symptoms of that thing from your past that still rears its ugly head in the present that you have not effectively dealt with because you gave it a pass by calling it something from your past it is your present deal with your present even if it was an action or an activity or a circumstance from long ago deal with your present if it's bothering you right now it's not your past it is your present deal with your present deal with your present come up with a solution get to the root of that so that you can effectively move on so that ultimately that thing that was your past actually becomes your past and it doesn't bother you on a daily basis think about that fellas marinate on that fellas let your past really be your past but the only way for that to happen is for you to deal with the ramifications that are bothering you in the present right now then it can truly be your past alright I know that that was that was a little different, but I wanted you all to process that because we all have things that bother us that rear their ugly head. And, you know, a lot of that is simply because we have not effectively dealt with the root issue there. Once we do that, everything else kind of falls into place. All right. Well, hey, as always, y'all visit blackfathersnow.com. 
follow Black Fathers Now on all social media outlets. Share, 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 share this episode. And um, visit blackfamilyapparel.com. Grab some dope apparel that celebrates the nuances of the black family. And until next time, as always, as always, y'all be blessed, well, and wise. And I'll holla at you. Peace. Yo, fellas, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And always, always, always visit blackfathersnow.com as well as follow Black Fathers Now on virtually every social media platform you can think of. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. Just follow us and uh, and engage with us, man. Look forward to hearing from you. And uh, I guess until next time, I'll holler at you. Peace.